This is K Progeny with more wisdom for my progeny. Y'all go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button for me. Much appreciated. And if you're on Instagram, hit the follow button. One thing we have to do is be solution oriented when we are dealing with cultural things, with the way we treat women, the way women treat us. And if there's no solution being given, we're just addressing the disease over and over and over again and not bringing a cure. At some point, it becomes badgering, backbiting, and harassment. Not saying that we shouldn't do it, because they need a correction. And if they're not hearing it at home, they need to hear it somewhere. And a lot of you women who get so combative, I don't call them masculine, they get combative, verbally or physically, with men, it's because you're rotten. You've been spoiled. And you know it. So, the anger comes up. The not wanting to be, wanting to be questioned comes out. Because you're spoiled. Not spoiled as in people have given you many gifts and treated you good but spoiled as in rotten, like you're no good for anyone. And the reason I say this because in my dealings with women, when you find one that's combative, they stay combative. They can put on the attributes of submission, especially with a new guy during sex. But when you actually sit down and have a conversation with them, you'll see they won't answer questions. They will continuously lie and they will always try to turn the tables on you instead of just answering the questions. But for those women who actually submit to their husbands, they don't get very much praise. It's always the squeaky wheel that gets the oil. So since the sisters that's acting crazy talking crazy, dressing loot and lascivious, dressing like they had no home training. These women get all the attention from men and they get attention from women because the women, the good women, are offended by it. A man don't want to walk out in society and see a guy with some biker shorts on who has a 12-inch phallus walking up saying hello to his, his wife. You just don't do that. And I know this is how the women feel when a woman walks up with some skin-tight pants on and she has a large behind or some big breast and she walks up and, hello, how are you doing to, to her man? She would feel the same way. So we have to be very conscious of when we critique, let's try to come with a solution. Don't just tell them, hey, y'all messing up. Say you messing up and this is how you correct it. And the only source and solution that actually will benefit both parties is the religious solution. If you're a Christian, go to your Bible, read. Find out how a wife is supposed to treat a husband. Find out how a husband is supposed to treat a wife. It's spelled out pretty good in Islam. So therefore you have books like The Pious Wife and The Pious Husband. And you have multiple hadiths. Which will guide you down the right path in marriage. Because anything other than marriage is sin. Fornication and adultery. And anyone willing to indulge in these activities shouldn't have a spouse at all. So, go to sources which have plans. Don't just go ask your homegirl, don't go ask your homeboy. Go to a plan which has worked. Y'all be good.